Hmm. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Should hold off for a while. I wonder how those are. began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The Escaped prisoner, Billy Cohen. Can we put a hold on the whole arresting me thing? We have bigger things to worry about right now. Wait, you're under arrest. 
No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Edward! Are you alright? What happened? It's worse than... We can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of z zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh, uh. <laughs> this is Rebecca. Over. Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Stay alert, Rebecca. He wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca... Why don't you go and try, while I wait here? Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. Okay. Who is that guy? Uh. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right?
Delta team. This is Delta team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? What happened? and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca! Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. on now. Research Center? <gasps> the first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm. What about the mail? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What? Revenge on Umbrella. <laughs> T 
Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Rebecca! Uh, uh, Hang on. Uh, I'll pull you up! Thank you. No mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca! This is Enrico! Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over! Rebecca, answer me! No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. Survived. Only 
There was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Do it! Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. I must be Marcus's son or grandson. Now this is more like it. Billy here. Billy, I found an aerial cable car. We can get out of this place. Good. Wait there. I'm coming. Roger. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Out. Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again.
<laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge. Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? Hmm? What could have done this? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy? <gasps> Welcome, young ones. So glad you have joined the party. You are the guests of honor, after all. It's your wake. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Marcus? No, you can't be. What's going on? <laughs> Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated. Research. <laughs> Wesker, working. However, something wondrous happened. It took the T-Virus inside of my queen years to procreate my new life. I live. Now I will have my revenge on Umbrella. And the world will burn in an inferno of hate! <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done! We'll see which one of us is gonna die! Might you be going, comrade? My next mission. The reclamation of the management training facility was your mission. And now you're just going to walk away without taking responsibility for your failure. The T-Virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. You can't just do what you feel like.
Maybe you need a little reminder. Work on the windows. Got it. I'll use my charm to distract Her Majesty. I guess he didn't like his lesson. <laughs> Fine. We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of anyway. Everything... for Umbrella. Must be the old mansion that Enrico was talking about. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Yeah, I'm just a zombie now. Thank you. 
biblioteca. My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion, and the real struggle was about to begin. After splitting up with Billy, I went to the mansion where Bravo Team was to rendezvous. When I arrived, I found that none of the others were there and the mansion was unsettlingly quiet. I was exhausted from the events of the previous day, and before I knew it, I had drifted into a nightmare. You're okay? I'm fine. We were fighting some monster, and... Edward's dead. I see. It's not much better on my end, either. We got attacked by those things, and had to split up. The rest of the team is either in hiding, or... We just have to find Enrico. He'll know what to do. <laughs> what a horrible first assignment, huh? First, we have to get to someplace safe. Who's that? They're going into the forest. Unbelievable. I wonder what they could be up to. Let's move. Yeah. Rebecca! Are you alright? It's probably just us now. Help will come. I'm sure our captain is out there somewhere. So don't give up hope. Besides, I'll back you up. <laughs> and with me around, what could go wrong? that thing. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! 
Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. What is this hall? <gasps> what was that? I'll go check it out. It's dangerous going alone. I'll come with you. All right. I will stay and secure the area.
messed up good. Some backup I made. Richard. Don't make that face at me. We've still got to have hope. Someone will come and rescue us. I, I know it. Who are... Chris Redfield, from Alpha Team. Alpha Team? Thank goodness! Everything's okay now, Richard. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Jill, don't scare me. Speak for yourself, Barry. What are you doing here? Yeah. Well, uh, I think you should take a look at this. I warn you, though. Not pretty. It's forest. What could have done this to him? God only knows, but I'm gonna find out what did this to him. Jill, could you investigate other areas? Yeah, sure. Jill. This is no longer useful, the forest. We don't know what's going to happen. Take it with you. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. This is Chris. This is Brad. Star's Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. This thing's broken.
Ah. Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change.
Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! Umbrella. Enrico! Double crosser. Jill, you're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Chris, you make me proud. Wesker? Tonight was an excellent night for collecting data on Umbrella's biological weaponry and its performance against trained flesh and blood combatants. You set the team up? Excellent deduction, Jill. That was Umbrella's intention anyway. However, I don't need them anymore. The ultimate life form. Tyrants. It's beautiful.
I will never forget the cold, dark fingers of death reaching out for me. However, even that death was a necessary component of the big picture. The virus that Birkin had created brought me back from the brink of annihilation. When I awoke, hatred became my master. I found the tyrant that killed me was dead, and the facility was just moments away from self-destruction. I did not have time to enjoy my newfound life. I had something I needed to do. Time to grab the data and get out. Due to the emergency condition, all data has been backed up to the UNF-013. Sergei was busy. Wesker, Albert, I am afraid that as of 2400 hours, I have taken it upon my authority to revoke your access privileges to the mainframe system. Impossible. Who are you? I am Red Queen. My primary objective is the management and protection of Umbrella assets. My secondary mission objective is You will regret is the this, my lady. Of Umbrella that, officer I lies. promise. Rebecca, we're getting out of here. All right. It was near daybreak on July 25th when the incident at the mansion drew to a close. Except for Chris and a few others, the RPD stars were wiped out. All of the evidence of the event had vanished with the destruction of the mansion. For a brief moment, I felt the pain of coming death. However, this too was part of the plan. Nobody was aware of it, but I had been reborn. I cast off my frail humanity and became something greater. <laughs> 